In this video, I will show you how to beat Hydro Hypostasis solo and show you what movesets and skills you need to watch out for. Like all the other elemental cubes, the boss protects itself with a cubical shell, so you can only hit the Hydro cube when its elemental core is exposed. Starting with the first skill, he will summon two droplets, one blue one and one sky bluish. The blue one will do damage and the sky blue one will drop heals, which heals you, nice right? However, the catch is it also heals the boss and it heals a lot as well, so take these droplets down as soon as possible. The second skill is called the Water Crusher. Hydro Cube will summon rolling cubes from all directions, slowly heading towards the core itself. You can just run out of the maze before it all comes in to avoid. Attack the core whenever it has an opening. I recommend Pyro or Cryo characters. The third skill set, I will call it Justice Rings from Above. The Hydro Cube will turn into a tornado shape and you will see markers on the floor. Move out of the way of those puddles as they will do hydro damage and apply wet on you. The fourth skill, you might be familiar with it. The boss's show scatters on the floor and it will summon dolphins outside. You can just go inside its core and start DPSing. The dolphin will have a marker on the floor indicating it will jump up from there. The fifth skill is bubbles. The boss reveals its core and there will be markers on the floor with bubbles rising up. Pay attention to them because you will get trapped like this if you stand on it. The sixth skill, I will call it the Dolphin Dive. The boss will turn into a dolphin that will try and dive into you. There is also another iteration of this move called the Dolphin Slap. The boss turns into a dolphin and slaps down. Once the Hydro Cube HP is low, it splits and summons three water droplets. The three droplets will move towards its core. During this phase, destroy these droplets fast or else the boss will revive and heal. You can also freeze these droplets if you are using a Cryo character. I hope this fast and short guide helped you in getting familiar with Hydro Hypostasis' moveset and helped prepare you to farm for Kokomi's materials. And all the Kokomi lovers out there, a head start. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys later.